Hey everyone, it's Matty with MeFishies.com and I've just set up here at the uh, tank that I'm going to be hatching the angelfish eggs in. And what I have in here is a clean tank with clean water, all very important. I've got uh, two sponge filters, one on each side. I've got double thermometers because I just really like to know what temperature the water is. Uh, I like these guys, but sometimes they're a little, I don't know, I, I, like to have, I like to have both and on each end. In addition to that, I've got a heating or heater in the back there, and that is one that you can set the temperature to versus the ones that you can buy that will consistently try to keep the water at around 78 degrees. I put this in here so that I can get the water to about 80 degrees or so. Uh, 80 degrees, 81 degrees, the eggs tend to hatch quicker and the uh, eggs then turn into little wigglers and free swimmers quicker, which the quicker you can get them to swim and away from any of the bad eggs that uh, don't make it, the better. Uh, so I try to keep the water at 80, 81 degrees at this, at this process. Now I've just added the water and stuff so it's, it's just starting to heat up. If you look in the center here, I've got a plastic container. Uh, people use various things. This is kind of floating right now in the water, but it's it's got its own water in there, and it's got an air stone. Uh, you can actually see on the tube there that I've used that in the past to hatch eggs because it's blue, and it's got uh, methylene blue stain on it, which I'll be using uh, shortly when I put the eggs in uh, this container. And this container is above the water line of the tank. And the reason for that is that you want to make sure that you keep, if you're hatching eggs with methylene blue, that you keep the methylene blue water separate from the tank water. And additionally, you want to keep the temperature of the container that I'm using and the water in it uh, the same temperature as the water in the tank. So after several days of treatment of the eggs in this methylene blue with the airstone aeration, uh, I'll be removing the jug and then placing the wigglers uh, that have hatched into this container with basically no methylene blue at all because it will ruin your filters and it's, you want to keep it separate. Um, it could kill a lot of things. So you use the methylene blue as initial treatment, and then after several days or so, I'll be doing another video to show you the next process, but I'll, that jug will eventually be coming out. The eggs will be removed from the jug, and they'll be placed into this setup. And I'll also be adding some other things to this tank, but I'm getting the initial pro. The most important right now is getting the temperature of the water set and all the uh, air going and making sure too that the water that you have in the tank is uh, got the sponge filters going so that when you're ready to make the transfer everything's good but first things first is getting these eggs into this jug so that they can be treated and then hatch. Uh, this is Maddie with MeFishies.com. Uh, if you like this video uh, please like me on uh, YouTube. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can also find us on mefishies.com.